In this video, I'm going to show you how one simple little adjustment can absolutely change how man coverage works in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to help you become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton, and it also lets you know whenever we release new videos that can help you and give you additional uh, tips and strategies. Now, really quick before we dive too deep into this video, today I'm talking a little bit about some man coverage. And if you're looking to get better on the defensive side of the ball, I've actually created what I believe to be one of the best defensive ebooks in the community right now, which is the Nickel 335 and 335 wide defense. We've been running this defense all season long. And if you want to learn the complete system to defense, how to stop the run, how to stop the pass, how to stop the best formations in the game like bunch, trips tight end, and bunch tight end, that 335 uh, wide defensive guide is available in the description of this video. And if you have any questions about it, you can always text me my numbers in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk today specifically about man coverage, and we're, to use this, we're going to use um, Gun Bunch. And um, I just want to talk a little bit about something that I was doing that I honestly was probably wrong, and I actually have corrected course since then. So we're going to be audibly from 335 normal into 335 wide. That's my preferred way to play defense this year. I think it's the best way um, to play defense, and that's why I wrote a whole ebook on it. Um, but 335 wide, and all we're going to do is we're going to man up this blitzing linebacker, Redman, on the tight end, right? And now what you're going to notice is now you have linebackers that are in a really, really good position. Now what I like to do is I like to pinch the linebackers against Gun Bunch because as you see, it's going to slightly move Redman in so that he now has inside positioning. Now here's the mistake that I was making uh, with my man-to-man -man coverage, and you might have been making the same mistake. I was shading outside and underneath. And the reason I was doing that because is because I was trying to basically be more effective against out routes and things like that. Well, what you're going to notice is when I do this, they're still going to get outside leverage, and the out route is still going to get open. And so um, I was in the lab, and I was trying to figure out, because I, I was playing in, a, in the Madden Classic, and somebody was running man coverage on me, and I couldn't figure out why their man coverage was so much more effective than mine, and I figured it out. The reason why is what you want to do is you want to obviously want to pass commit, but most importantly, instead of shading outside and underneath, you want to shade inside and underneath. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow them to get a lot better animation uh, when, it, when it comes to press coverage. As you see right there, somehow he magically, because he wins that press coverage, he's in a much better position. Now, obviously, the receiver did still catch the ball. But interestingly enough, even though on the last play we shaded outside and underneath, um, and then this, this pass play we shaded inside and underneath, the inside and underneath coverage works a lot better, even against outbreaking patterns like out routes. You'll see here, um, it's more of a press win type of situation. As you see, the corner is smothering that out route, even though he's shading him inside. This is also a key situation for something like, uh, something as simple as a drag route. If you think about a drag route, maybe to the tight end or a little in route, what you're going to notice here is when you shade inside, they actually play it fairly well. Now, the tight end is a little bit different because the tight end is an unbumbable receiver. But as a general rule, I would suggest to you that when you run man coverage, I think it makes a lot more sense to shade coverage inside and underneath than to shade coverage outside and either over top or underneath, especially with how prevalent one step ahead corners are right now. You're going to see things that used to beat man-to-man um, -man coverage just simply won't beat it right now. And that's the beauty of this defense. So, again, relatively simple little switch here. But one little change can make a lot of difference for you. And you'll see one of the other things that I like to do um, is I like to put my flat zones at 25 to 30 yards. And whenever I put them in curl flats, what you're going to notice is when I shade inside and underneath... Just like that, you're going to see that now those are going to turn into flat zones. So let's say you're playing someone that's running the Z spot play. Well, when a flat zone comes from a safety, you're actually going to have a lot of success. You see, I try to throw the corner out, and that 30 yard flat zone is able to come down and make the play on that. So, all of this to say that I think that you can learn a little bit, you know, just some little bitty things, little nuances of this, but this helps make man to man coverage that much better in Madden 21. It was already really good, but I think we just made it a little bit better with this one simple adjustment. And uh, I just would encourage you if you're not shading inside and underneath, 
to go ahead and start because they will actually play both inside and outside breaking patterns significantly better. Um, in fact, let's say that the let's say that your opponent runs some type of curl route or something like that when you shade inside and underneath you're going to notice that you actually get relatively decent man-to-man -man coverage so i'll show you this one more time and this is that inside underneath here you see the press is so much harder to beat and that's an instant interception for one of the best cornerbacks in regs jair alexander all this to say, guys, this is just one little piece of a defense. And if you want to get my full defensive ebook, that link is available for you in the description. It shows you everything that I know about defense in Madden 21 and shows you how to really lock people down um, with zone drops, without zone drops, with match coverage, with blitzing, with coverage defense, with run defense. Everything that you need to be successful all in one ebook for you that is available in the description and if you're sitting here thinking well um can i get a free sample to that i actually have a free sample of that ebook available for you in my text message membership which all you have to do to sign up for that is completely free to get that sample all you have to do to get it is text me my cell phone number is 812 Two one six three six four four. So just take a few seconds, pull out your cell phone, send me a text message, and say, "Hey Cody, I'd like to get the sample um, to the defensive ebook. I'm interested. Maybe you have some questions that you want to ask me about things that you're having trouble with. You know, maybe you're having trouble beating man coverage, or maybe you're having trouble um, dealing with this issue or that issue. As far as Madden goes, you can always ask me those questions because that is my personal cell phone number. So I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. And again, I just want to remind you if you want to get that defensive ebook book 335 wide in my opinion the best defense in man 21 that ebook is available for you in the description of this video thanks for your time and we'll see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time